Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got my September wrap up for you. So September has been a very busy month for me. Let's just go ahead and dive into the books that I did manage to read this month. The first book I read this month was Falling for the Omega. This was just a really cute, sweet, fluffy break that I needed from my other books that I'd been reading. It was also a really good kickoff for fall. So I really enjoyed this massive extended family that this whole book series is going to be about. And I just, I really liked this one because it was just really cute and just like the fluffy Omega first book that I really needed. This one's definitely not for those under 18, but it was really cute and fluffy and just like just what I needed. This got a three and a half out of five stars and I'm really excited to continue the series. Um, next up, I finished Shots on Goal. This is the third book in the Stick Side series and honestly, it was just so good. This is Cody's book and I... Cody is one of my favorite characters. Also, we get more demisexual rep, and uh, I'm here for it. Let's see, so this one's a kind of a grumpy sunshine romance. Cody's very sunshiny, and like, even though he's very anxious on the inside, he doesn't let that affect him on the outside, usually. Um, and then there's Roman, who is just this little ball of grump and I just I love him and he's very like standoffish and he doesn't make friends very well because he's had some very bad experiences and it's him trying to make friends on the team that he was just traded into and like him cooking for his teammates also cooking for Cody and Mitch and just kind of getting absorbed into this kind of found family is just so good also just the casual queer rep that this book has so good like so so good there are some trigger warnings for this particular book um with outing and having your parents uh basically kick you up for being gay and just check the trigger warnings for this one before you dive in um otherwise this book was a five star read for me. It was just fantastic and I would highly recommend this series. Okay, so next up I finished a couple of short stories set in the Cambric Creek universe by Sam Nascosta. Um, the first one, The Trouble with Leprechauns, got a 3.25 stars. The second was Small Talk. This one got four stars. Both of them are really good. Um, again, the Cambric Creek universe books are not for those under 18. Please check your trigger warnings before you dive into these books. They're fantastic, but also just, you know, check the trigger warnings. Okay, so next up is Love and Other Disasters. I loved this book so much. So I kind of compared it to Great British Bake Off, but it's actually more like MasterChef, I think. This is fantastic. So this is one of the first like contemporary romance books where we've had a non-binary main character or, you know, one of the main characters is non-binary and I loved it to pieces. And Dahlia and London are just fantastic characters. And I really loved like the cooking show aspect, but also I really liked that Dahlia and London were kind of falling in love, doing something that they were both passionate about, not necessarily something they wanted to do as a career, but they're definitely passionate about it. And like to see them both like do these cooking competitions and be snarky with each other about the other contestants was really funny. And also I think the only thing I didn't like about this book was there was kind of a big, really like a really big miscommunication of like what they were going to do after the show and you know that kind of pulled me out of the story a little bit um but otherwise I really really enjoyed this one um this got a four and a half out of five stars and I can't wait to see what else Sunita Kelly comes up with all right so next up is the manga that I read this month which was Yagi the Bookstore Goat this was just so cute and <laughs> it just put a smile on my face because it's about these two characters that fall in love at a bookshop and like over books and it's just so cute and fluffy. Um, if you guys liked Zootopia you might really like this. Um, these characters are a little bit more human but um, it's definitely one to check out if you liked Zootopia. Also please note that this one is for those over 18 um, but this was a really fun graphic novel and I really hope it gets turned into a series because it was just so cute or at least we get another book with them or you know, in this universe because it's really cool and unique. And this one got a four and a half out of five stars. Would highly recommend for those over 18. Okay, and then we are on to the books that I'm currently reading as of filming this video. Um, so I'm reading Fence Disarmed. This is the second of the Fence novels. It's actually really good. I think I wish it's a little bit more focused on Nick and Seiji, but I do really like Aiden and Harvard's point of views. However, their point of views are very focused on each other and like the angst of their little will they, won't they become a couple kind of thing. Overall, I'm really, really enjoying this. Like, not gonna lie, Fence is fantastic <laughs> universe. I just, dumb sports boys, you gotta love them. The other book that I'm currently reading as of filming this video is Sweetberries by Sam Nascosta. This is the second in the Cambert Creek 
series. Um, and this one I'm really, really enjoying. This one is a romance between Grace, who is a human, and Merrick, who is a mothman. And I just, I love them together. They're so sweet. And Merrick is just like a, a total science nerd. A, he's adorable. And Grace is just very sweet and nice and works at a farm stand and you know, whatever. It's really cute. Um, it's actually really good so far. Uh, this one again, Caber Creek is not for those under 18. So please don't tell anybody <laughs> you read it if you got the recommendation from me if you're under 18. Um, so I did have two other books that I had planned for this month. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to Sloan for the Wild Built yet. Um, I might try to fit in uh, Beast Boy Loves Raven at the very end of the month. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, so that was my September reads. Um, my favorite book this month definitely has to go to uh, Shots on Goal. It was just fantastic. Did you guys have a favorite book this month? Let me know down below. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget the like button. If you haven't already but would like to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.